I think one of the most important traits anyone with a dream ought to have is the ability to distinguish bad advice when you're getting it. A half a year ago, I wanted to quit engineering because I felt like I was wasting my time with it. Like any other engineering aspirant in India, I was doing it because I was supposed to do it and not because I knew what it meant. I felt like design, which is a broad term that I use for filmmaking and photography, YouTube and things like that, was more my thing. But no one in my house supported this. Everyone said that you shouldn't quit, that you should become an engineer first, uh, engineering being the staple job in India, and then take up those hobbies. But I knew then that I was driving my life into a dead end if I was to keep preparing for the JEE. So I did not take their advice. Now over time they saw that I was good at design and they sort of stopped complaining. They liked what I was doing and I guess they saw that I was happier and they were on board. But a little too much on board. Now folks around here and they hear the word design, they're thinking fashion. Uh, drawing stuff on clothes and things like that. And if you're at all different, they won't like it. Suddenly I was a neighborhood designer. People were bringing me their clothes to draw on. And when that happened, I realized that these people, in their minds, they'd already pictured way ahead, years ahead, into my life, way into my getting a job, my getting married, that already formed up my character like they were playing Sims. I felt boxed in. I felt like if I was going to do anything different, ever, they were not going to let me. Their expectation of me was just as strong as it was before. But that's just it. It's just their expectation of you. All that stuff they lay on you is just in their heads. Don't let it stand in the way of your dreams. The stuff they say will only be real, will only gain credibility if you let it into your life. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you later.